Hello, welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. I'm going to show you how to find the horizontal asymptotes of a rational function, and this is really great for graphing. So I'm going to go over two examples and see how this works. Now the important part for finding horizontal asymptotes is really looking at the power of the top and the power of the bottom. That would be these exponents you find. So exactly how does that work? Well, it works like this. You look at the power of the top and the bottom. And if the power in the top happens to be smaller than the power in the bottom, this gives you a horizontal asymptote right at y equals 0. However, if the powers are the same, then you're going to take the leading coefficients of the top and bottom polynomials. Now, the last one happens if the top power is actually larger than the bottom power. In cases like this, there is no horizontal asymptote. It might be a slant asymptote or even a quadratic asymptote, but whatever it is, it is not horizontal. So let's use this information to find our asymptotes. Okay, so for the first one, I want to look at the power in the top and the power in the bottom. Now, it looks like there is no power in the top. We could imagine this as, say, x to the 0. So the power on the top is 0, the power on the bottom is 2, so the top is smaller than the bottom. So I would say that, yes, this does have a horizontal asymptote. This one occurs right at y equals 0. For this next one, if I compare the powers, I can see that they're actually the same. In cases like this, you want to take the leading coefficients. For our purposes, that would be the 7 and the 5. So this also has a horizontal asymptote, but it occurs at y equals 7 fifths. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.